I'm just a pro trying to make it. So come ride with me. Okay, so here today we have a new course set up, a new exercise. Um, not every day do we jump. We do flat. Um, I don't like to jump that much. Um, I do like to flat, but I do like to do ground pulls with my flat. Um, but you don't have to. You don't have to jump every day. I don't like to. Uh, we keep everything nice and low. But it, today is just a training day again, working on them, finding their feet. Um, using themselves, rocking back, um, and definitely using themselves to jump out, out of everything. So we have, I always like to keep a little bit of a raised um, trot pulls here. We just have one side raised. Um, I really enjoy uh, raised trot pulls. I just really think it helps the horse understand its body a little bit more, lifting its back and pushing out and pushing up to get up over them. Um, it's amazing when your horse starts to do the trot pulls, how much um, easier it is to get them to like yield their hindquarters um, and use their body, lift their rib cage, and um, just really use themselves. So we did set up um, one side raise of uh, trot pulls here. If you don't have the boxes, it is fine. Find something to lift it up. Um, anything works. It's probably lifted maybe about six inches off the ground on one side. Um, so we're just going to walk this. These trot pulls are two steps and added a foot. So I'm gonna go one, two, and then we added a foot here and again. One, two, we added a foot and again. One, two, we added that foot here. Okay, so reminder, the trot pull is two, two steps and adding a foot. Okay, and so here in the center, we have a one stride, a simple one stride, and this is, you know, set to where we can raise um, the cross rails. I'm probably going to raise up the cross rails on the sides just to have my guy because um, these are going to be, he's just going to laugh at him. These are going to be too easy for him. And I really want him just to rock back and just kind of focus on staying round and getting through. We added fillers so that he wants to stay round with the filler. So well, with our canter poles here, we are going to do three steps and then add a foot to it. Okay, so one, two, three, and that's about where that box is pulled off is that foot added to it, okay? So then we're gonna walk to the other side. We have a center ground pull to kind of help us get through it. Now, if I do step in front of this box, I'm already adding that foot, so I should already have three strides to my pull. Now, if it's not, then we adjust it, okay? One, two, three, and we got the three strides here, and the same thing applies going to our second cross rail. Now that box is pulled off, so it's already adding that foot into it, so I don't need to add that foot. So I'm gonna walk three strides. One, two, three, and it's already adding that foot. Again, we have the landing ground pull, so we can work going both ways. And we're already adding a foot here, so we're pulling it off. So I'm just gonna say, we added a foot there, and we're gonna step three steps. One, two, three, and we got that ground pull right here. Okay, so I'm going to raise the sides on these um, to have my horse work a little bit more. My goal is to make sure I don't get a little too handsy coming in and just letting him figure that out. Um, so simple, so easy, does so much for a horse. Even just a single jump with a front and landing pull does amazing for your horse, okay? Break things down, make it simple. It shouldn't be difficult. Okay, so I have this line here, all right? We have the line, we have our bounce, bending bounce here, and I did keep one side um, lowered so that um, we have some green horses so that they can figure it out and it's not too difficult. So again, with this bounce, it should be three steps and then add a foot. One, two, three, and we added that foot. So if we're looking down up on it, if you're here, you can see the difference there. So again, we're gonna walk, and that was on a bending, so we're gonna walk again. One, two, three, and then we added that foot, all right? So this out of this bending comes 
this straight stride vertical fence here. And I actually um, didn't put fillers in there. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep the fillers out and see what we can play with. I might go ahead and add some ground pulls just to make sure that we are understanding um, coming into it. So because we're inside, we're gonna add this into a four stride. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step two steps for our landing after these um, bending bounces. We're gonna walk four steps for one stride, okay? One, two, three, four. We have one stride. One, two, three, four. We have two strides. One, two, three, four. We have three, uh, three strides. And then we're gonna add two steps for the takeoff. One, two, and then we're up on the jump. So we have, it's a three stride, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna compress and we're gonna add the four strides into it, okay? And then maybe if we're doing well, then we'll go ahead and allow our horse to flow out and do the three strides. But because we're inside, we are working on control and waiting and staying round, we're gonna go ahead and add the four strides, okay? So after our vertical, we're gonna walk two steps for our landing. One, two, so we have two steps. And then we're gonna walk four steps for every stride. So one, two, three, four. So that's one stride. One, two, three, four. So that's two strides. One, two, three, four. So that's three strides and one, two for takeoff, okay? So now again, we still have the three strides coming to the bending bounce and we're gonna compress and add that into the four strides here. Okay, so now we're gonna do our bending bounce here. We're gonna walk these. It's gonna be three strides and add a foot. One, two, three, and we add that foot. Okay, and we walk to the other side here. Same thing applies. We're gonna do that three stride and add a foot. One, two, three, and add a foot. So if I get on and I don't feel like my, I like my striding, I can always adjust it. I have a ground crew to adjust it or I hop off and adjust it for me. But because I have someone videoing me going through this with them today, um, hopefully he will help me out to making sure that my distance are correct and that we have a successful ride. Again, I'm just looking for something so simple and easy, okay, out of my horse. Not really, you know, going to hound them into it. I want them to just understand. We are just in the understanding process. It takes time, okay? It takes time for them to build the strength and build the energy, but we are understanding today. Okay, understanding we have the right ability out of our horse, okay? So hopefully you guys, you know, this helps you all out. Um, these are great exercises to work. You can work at home um, with your horses to be, you know, rideable, adjustable, and staying around over the fence and using themselves correctly. Again, you know, exercises are good for your horses and waiting. If your horse starts to rush a little bit through something, then we halt at the end. There is no need for them to learn from the incorrect. We learn from correct. If they're doing something so great or they do it perfect the first few times, then stop doing it. We don't need to jump them into the ground. We want to keep them as long as they can and as great as a performance horse as they can. Conditioning is important, okay? You can condition without jumping. But let's um, have fun with this today. And I hope I get feedback uh, from you guys doing the same exercise and what you felt. And if you have any questions about any of it, please holler. I'd be happy to answer any of them. All right. Have a fabulous day. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to find more fun exercises to work with your horses. All right. Bye.